Welcome back to the Trogley's Guitar Show, Fender Friday Edition. Last time we covered the new alternate reality series, but this time I want to look at the other limited edition releases from Fender known as the Rarities series. I'm surprised there's not more people talking about these. Perhaps it's because there's not a lot of information out on these, and only three of them are even on Fender's website at this time. But to boil all these down, they're boutique level instruments that show off what Fender can really do. They have fancy tops with exotic woods, and many of them have special pickups or pickup combinations. This series is basically them following up on their parallel universe run of guitars from last year. Since Mexico gets the alternate reality this year, they wanted something fun to do themselves. The numbers of each of these is a little bit iffy at this time, but they're planning to do around 400 of each of these guitars, depending on demand as well as supply of these woods. So from April to December in 2019, these are the guitars that we are going to see. Batting first in April is the Quilt Top Stratocaster. This guitar is very visually striking to me. It has a gold pick guard with a very vintage looking setup, but then you're hit with this beautiful quilted maple top. However, when you go to the back side, you then see a two piece roasted alder back. But my absolute favorite thing about this guitar is the rosewood neck. Guitar manufacturers really don't do enough pure rosewood necks. I had a PRS that had this setup and that guitar still sticks in my mind for that exact reason. I'm also a huge fan when your neck is also the same material as your fretboard. And one last little nitpicky detail on this one is it has a laser etched Fender logo. Now, I can't really find any good photos to show you it, but that's what they're saying. Next in May is the Red Mahogany Top Tele, the guitar that first started this video. As far as Telecasters go, this Pommel figured mahogany top with the gold hardware and tortoiseshell pickguard and binding really sets this one apart. It makes it look kind of exotic, almost like a desert bandit or something. The next really striking feature on this one is the pearl tipped tuners. So this one's kind of got all the bells and whistles going on and the two piece ash body on the back has a dark grain fill to really fulfill your inner desires to see such beautiful grainage. If exotic is your taste, in June they are bringing out the Koa Top Strat. Fender is really proud of the stock of Koa that they found for this run of instruments. They like it because it's got all these different colors in it. You can see it's dark on these two sides and in the center it's kind of got a lighter stripe. But besides the Koa top, what they're most proud of is the gold foil vibe of the single coils in this guitar. Now from far away, that just looks like a normal metal cover. But you get up close and then realize that these are very different looking. In the bridge pickup, they used what they did with the Triple Jazz Master from last year. It's a Tim Shaw design pickup that kind of looks like one of those old filter trons. The following month, just in time for the 4th of July, is the Quilt Maple Top Telecaster. I've got to tell you guys, I really like this one. I mean, in photos, it kind of looks like a trans black finish, but they're calling it the Blue Cloud. So this is just your regular Telecaster, except for, again, you've got the quilted maple top, an exotic finish, a beautiful black pick guard on it, and single ply binding around the top. I think that's what's really going to set this one apart from some of the other ones, because the binding makes the transition of top to body look a little bit more elegant. This one is also utilizing the dark grain fill on the ash back. Following up in August is the Flame Maple Top Strat. Now this one's been given like an antique furniture 1700s vibe here with what they are considering the golden brown finish. The top of this instrument is placed on a two piece alder body and the tortoiseshell pick guard paired with kind of the cream looking plastics except for the zebra in the bridge. I'm not really sure if I like the way this one looks in stock photos. But what's really cool on this one, again, the rosewood neck, beautiful. But now it's paired with a flamed maple fretboard. 
I am a huge fan of flamed maple boards. I do not see enough of it used. I had a Gibson M3 that had one, and that was certainly a rarity. So I really think this might be a visual treat in just the way all the colors are kind of different at every point of the guitar. You've got the pickups matching the fretboard, whereas the neck then matches that brown color on the body. To be remembered on your September 21st gig, make sure you pick up the Flame Maple Top Chambered Telecaster. This one, I'll be honest, it looks terrible in these stock photos, but once you kind of see it in real time, what makes this one different from every single other guitar or bass from the series is it's not just a tiny little top. Because let's face it, Stratocasters, Telecasters, you can't really give them a Les Paul thick maple top because it just looks weird. The bodies just aren't as thick to begin with. So instead of a small veneer or just a really tiny top, they gave this one a thick mamma jamma maple top right there, kind of like the old sandwich bodied Gibsons. But the only reason why they can even get away with doing something like that without making this guitar ridiculously heavy is it is completely chambered out. Now say what you want about chambered guitars, you know, some sound better than others. They've done this before on a George Harrison model, but I think this guitar just has such an interesting look from the side because that's not what you normally see. And in the neck pickup, they gave this one a Shawbucker 1T. And now for a spooky guitar in October, a flamed ash top strat. Now, I guess a lot of people at NAMM were thinking that this was just a maple top and they're like, yeah, what's going on here? But it's ash. And Fender's really pushing the fact that finding figured ash is very difficult to do consistently. The ash top is then paired with a two-piece alder body. And the big kicker on this one that you can't really appreciate from stock photos is a bird's eye maple neck. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's these little dots. Some people dig them, some people don't. But I think it's better than just plain maple. Personally, the flame dash, it doesn't do much for me. Now, if it looks something more similar to my ash top Les Paul Custom, yeah, then maybe we'd be talking. I almost think this one might look better with like a more cream or white colored pick guard, as I feel that pairs better with this kind of cherry sunburst finish. And then when you're feasting in November, if you're a bass player, you can rejoice. You're not being left out of this series. They're doing one similar to the one we just talked about. This is a flame ash top jazz bass. Same complaints on this one from me. But the one thing that really sells this and makes it different is it has a bound ebony fretboard. Which being a Gibson guy, hey, that's kind of familiar territory for me. So it's an interesting bass, probably not one I would be interested in checking out. Cherry Sunburst when it looks like this, yeah, it just isn't quite my jam. And then finally, you can ask Santa for this one in December comes this magnificent beast. It's a little bit strange looking, but it has another rosewood neck. This is the Flame Top HSS pickup setup, Stratocaster in a thin line design. We talked about thin line Stratocasters with the Eric Johnson episode of Fender Friday, but what makes this one different from all those is basically the rosewood neck and we have a flamed maple top. You also have the addition of a double tap humbucker, which they're currently using in their Performer series. This guitar, it's got that smoky desert vibe to it. Maybe that's just the color palette that appeals to me the most when I think of a Fender guitar, or maybe it's just that neck and fretboard again, but this one, I'm kind of digging it. So these are the nine instruments that Fender are releasing and calling the Rarities series. Unfortunately, since we're still a few months away from these even starting to be released, I was unable to find any sound samples. Each of these instruments are going to cost $24.99 brand new, which is pretty expensive for a Fender, but yeah, coming from Gibson land, that's like a half price sale. So the only question left, would you rock the Fender Rarity series or not? Which one is your favorite? If I had to pick my top three, I'd probably go the Quilt Top Telecaster, 
the quill top Stratocaster, and probably the mahogany topped Telly. But that's definitely a hard choice. Thank you troglodytes for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.